Another question, Jared. Um, uh, as far as Kali is concerned, it does face some criticism that a lot of this stuff is unrealistic. Can you help us maybe break down the difference between the art and um, and you know the, the 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 practical? And tell us about your personal experience with 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 training people in the yeah, practical. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, I think a lot of it comes from what what people see um, in in uh, whether it's online or in movies. Um, People, what, what captures people's attention is usually the more artsy part of the art. And so people see that and start to make assumptions based on what is popular uh, visually. Um, but in reality, um, there's a lot of direct um, hard and, and, and uh, uh, very functional application to the art. It's just a matter of seeing past the surface, you know, and actually getting past the visually pleasing stuff into the actual functional part of the art, which is there. Now uh, I'll caveat that with you know you've got you've you've got uh, instructors that know how to teach the application, and you got instructors that more focus on more of the the the, art, the martial arts and crafts part of that, which is and so you know uh, I don't I don't find fault in that because some people train the art because they just enjoy it you know it, it, that's fine enjoy it it's fun and and learn some functional skills while you're at it um, and some 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 instructors will cater to that more whereas other instructors will know how to apply it based on whatever their background is or, um, or, or other arts that they've cross-trained in and so they know how to teach it at a more functional level. Instructor the instructor, it'll, it'll change uh, and, and, some, and, and focus on different arts too within the Filipino martial arts. My experience, you know, before I was even a police officer, going back into the 90s, I, you know, I worked, I trained a lot of martial arts. I was training heavily back then in, in Kali Muay Thai and, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I worked as a, as I was in university, I worked as a doorman in Hawaii and got into a lot of situations, many, many situations on a weekly basis where I was putting stuff into practice that I was training in the gym. And I started when going through this learning process and, and I found Kali to be very, very functional. I found that I actually used, a, in that environment, it was safer to use, uh, it was very applicable because it has the, the dimensions. It's got the weapons, counter weapons, it's got the empty hand, it's got the, the controls and, and takedowns and submission type stuff. That, uh, so as I went into law enforcement 16 years ago, that carried through and I started finding that it applied well in that environment. And again, it's been uh, something that I found in my career has been very, very functional because of those multi, the multi, multi facets of the art. I think you're also in a, in a unique position where you've you're sort of you've found relevance um, from Kali in into uh, uh, gunfights and absolutely. and you know absolutely. So you've got um, movement, you know, shoot, move, and communicate. Kali is all about m uh, movement, footwork, and mobility. Uh, the further you get out from your, your opponent, the more that mobility starts to become more applicable. But even in, in even grapplers, you know, they, they they seek position often before the submission. And if, you, and if you can control position, you can often dictate and control that fight. The same thing, in, uh, you get further out, the longer the weapon, then that mobility starts to take more shape. And then to gunfighting, mobility is extremely important. You know, moving to cover, moving, moving, to, moving off the X, getting, um, you know, getting to concealment. So you've got all these, you know, getting, becoming a moving target. You know, that, all of that uh, has to be, people talk about it often, uh, in, in firearms training, but they don't actually often get out and do it in, in on, the, on the range, get off the flat range, start working in 360 environments or, or as safe as you can, 90 degree environments or whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's I found that Kali, uh, the philosophies bleed over really well into, into uh, close quarter gun fighting. Perfect. Right on. Jared, uh, we'll let you be. Continue what you're doing. Thank right. you very much for, for your time. Cool. Thanks, guys.